Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be doing is installing Linux Mint. And if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thank you. All right, guys. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is installing Linux Mint. And the website is linuxmint.com. I already downloaded the ISO, but once you go to the website, you can go to the downloads link. And then once you uh, hit the downloads link, the latest version is Linux Mint 19.3. And you can download the, the latest right here. If you go down, there's three flavors or three editions for the download. Cinnamon, this is what I downloaded. And if you have a, you know, probably a newer machine, which I, I would guess you do, or if you're probably doing some virtualization like I am in a, in a virtual environment, um, you can just download the 64-bit. And I'm going to be downloading the Cinnamon version, but there's Matt and there's a KFSE, KFXFCE. Oh man. And um, so pretty much the addition that we're going to be downloading is a Cinnamon desktop. That's what I want to be doing. I did a 64 bit. If you have an older machine, if you're doing it like on a laptop, uh, you can use the 32 bit if your processor is only supporting by 32 bit. And you can download it once the download is downloaded what you can do is you can use a usb like this plug it into your laptop or your desktop or whatever and create a bootable drive with that media and you can use rufus there's a there's a few applications out there i, I like rufus because it's just easy and you pretty much plug it in you browse to it you hit start and it makes it a bootable and you're good to go so I already downloaded it. So let's go to my desktop and we're gonna be using VirtualBox for this machine. And I'm gonna be creating a new virtual machine, okay? So let's go ahead and go to, I wanna to go to tools and I wanna hit new. And I wanna type in Linux Mint, okay? And it's, a, and it's an Ubuntu uh, distro. So that's all fine. I wanna make it, uh, I can get eight gigs, that's fine. And I wanna create a new virtual disk. I wanna create a VDI, a vir uh, virtual box disk image. All right, hit next. I wanna dynamically allocate the drive, so I'm not gonna have it as one fixed drive. And I can make this 40 gigs, that should be fine. Hit create. And once this is created, we can double click on the VM and it should populate and pop up with a window to browse to the ISO image. And here it is. You hit this little arrow, green arrow with a little folder and you browse to wherever you downloaded it. This is my latest download. As you see, I downloaded a few copies of Linux in the last couple days. And we're gonna be doing Linux Mint uh, 19.3 Cinnamon. Hit OK, hit Start. Okay, and we can make this bigger. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So if you have this in your USB and you're booting up to your, uh, with the, you know, obviously you go into BIOS, you create the, the primary boot device as your USB, blah, 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 you get all that sorted out. You should get to a screen something like this, okay? And what we can do, in, in this case, we're gonna start Linux Mint, hit enter. And we'll let that go on its merry way. I want to X out of here. That's just driving me crazy. And um, X out of here too. It is Saturday night. So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is Sunday. Me and a buddy, James, uh, he's in, out in California. He's just getting into the IT world and networking and security. So we're actually gonna have a little um, chat about getting into IT, what was my journey, what was his journey. So stay tuned for that, it'll be pretty cool. And uh, you can find him on Instagram. I believe it's uh, James, Zero Day James. 
something like that. I, I haven't checked. I'm, I'll, I'll check it in a bit. But you follow him. He, he's an awesome guy. He's, he's amazing. And um, stay tuned for that. Cool deal? All right. So now we're in our desktop. So once you have this up and running, you can hit this, our, uh, this little disk right here where it says Install Linux Mint. We can double click on that and we'll go through the process. All right. For my situation or where I am, I speak the English. So I want to use English, hit continue, English, make sure my, my thing is typing. We're all good. Hit continue. So if you want to install any third party applications, um, you know, if you have any older machine that you need to go search for the drivers, you know, such and such, you can go ahead and um, do that there. And I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to hit continue here. Okay. So here we have a few options of the installation type. In this case, we're going to erase the disk and install Mint, right? Because we have a clean drive, like it's like a brand new hard drive. We don't have any data on there. There was no operating system prior. And if there was, and if you choose this, you're going to wipe that operating system. So make sure you back up your data. Um, encrypt the new Linux installation for security. You can use this for an uh, extra layer of security. I'm not going to do that. And you can use uh, LVM. Um, this is pretty much so you can have a logical volume manager, so you can extend volumes, you can shrink volumes, you can stick snapshots. It's good for virtualization and stuff like that. And something else is uh, something else. Um, I guess you can create and repartition your repartition the partitions yourself. Um, but in this case, we're going to be erasing the disk and installing it directly. Okay. We're going to hit install now. And this is pretty much telling you if you do this, there's no way you can um, revert your changes. So let's hit continue. And that is it. And I'm in Florida, but New York is fine for me. I'm from New York. Um, so we can hit continue here. And my name, what is my name? My name is Patrick. Um, my VM, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put Linux mint dash VM. Okay. Pick a username. Patrick is fine. My password. I'm just going to make a fancy password. Okay. So here you have login automatically and require my password on login. If you have this on a laptop, if you have it log in automatically, that's a little security risk. So say anyone opens up your laptop, boots it up, you're automatically logged in. And in my opinion, that's no bueno. So I'm not doing that. So I'm going to require me to put my password in. Even though it's a little annoying, I'd rather be annoyed than someone to get into my machine. And you can encrypt the home folder for the specific user. So I'm not going to do that, but you, you, know, you, have, you can put that for an extra layer of security. I mean, this is just a VM, just a demo or um, a video tutorial for you to learn how to install the, the installation process. Okay. So if you want to have this, go on and do it. All right. Continue here. And we'll let it do its thing. And we'll give that some time. So, yeah. So. If you want, give me one second. I can actually look for his, uh, my friend James, that we're gonna have that interview together. Give me one second. Let me look on my Instagram and find his page. It's Zero Day James. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be doing this tomorrow. You know, if you have any questions uh, for us or for me, feel free to hit me up on PDG IT Solutions on my uh, Instagram and him at James Zero Day and just shoot us a question and if you know you're a lucky star you'll get your answer you get your question answered um, everyone's learning it's pretty much going to be a video about talking about getting into the world of IT what avenue you should you should take but I get that a lot what avenue should I take I'm not going to take the same avenue you take right it's whatever you feel like you want to do and what makes you happy and excites you because what excites me may not excite you, right? So, but we'll get into some of the certifications um, that are needed for entry-level IT or mid-level 
and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. I don't want to talk about that on this video, but it'll be super cool and we're probably going to, we are, we are going to do it tomorrow. Hopefully we can drop the video tomorrow night or, you know, depending on the editing and, and stuff like that, maybe it'll be out Monday, but it's coming soon. So stay tuned. All right. So while this does its process, let me uh, pause the video so I don't have to bore you guys too much. Let this do its thing and I'll resume once this is done. I'm not going to hit anything. Once it's done, I'll hit resume. All right. Cool deal. All right, guys. So <clears throat> that took only a few more minutes and the installation is complete. So at this point, at this time, we can hit restart now. And once it boots up, we should be able to log in. And let's see if the media is removed. Yep, there's no media, so we're perfectly fine. We can hit enter. And it should reboot and we should get to the login prompt and log into our operating system. And we'll go over a few things on the OS, some of the updates for the Lint, um, the Linux Mint, and some cool stuff. And you can use this in VirtualBox. I, I run in VirtualBox. I also have VMware Workstation as well. And, um, and yeah, so you can run these applications in whichever you like. All right, so let's log in. So I asked it to prompt me to log in instead of just logging into my desktop. And we should be prompt with a welcome, I believe, I hope, I wonder. I'm impatient. Whoa, fancy. So we can check your video drivers. We can launch this. This is fine. We'll X out of here. So this is a cool little thing right here. Welcome. We can welcome to the Mint. First steps, so you can, um, you know, driver manager, multimedia coag, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the update manager, documentations, the new features, the release notes, you can check it all out here. And you can chat in the chat room if you have any questions, the web forms, and, and so on and so forth. So if we can X out of here, we can check out some stuff. So obviously this is your desktop, this is your home directory. So you go into here, it's pretty much your your home directory on your box. Uh, this is the start menu, the menu that you know shows you all your applications and all that good stuff. On the bottom here, it can uh, you can pretty much like if you have multiple windows open, like uh, we'll test it out right now. We'll open up Firefox once it opens, and then if we hit here, we can just show the desktop. All right, so. To make sure we can get on the internet. Whoa, we're working. Our internet works. So the next one is the terminal. You're gonna open the terminal. We can do an IP address. If I can spell IP, I IP, IP address. We can see that we're getting an IP address and all this cool stuff. The next one is the files. This is like your file explorer, pretty much where I just went on the, the home page uh, on the desktop for the home directory. So back here is the time. Obviously, it's almost eight o'clock in uh, on April fourth. This is your volume. You can check the volume, the network connectivity. You click on here. You can see your wiring settings, and you can see like this is my IP address. And obviously, I'm hardwired. I'm not wireless. And this is like okay. This is our manager that was just popped up here. And this is the welcome. This is new. Welcome to the update manager. And this that thing was. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have opened it. But we can minimize that for now. And then this is the update manager. We can open up this <clears throat> and you can see if there's security updates, software updates, um, system snapshots, etc., etc. All right, cool. So we can press OK there. And that pretty much sums up the video. So if we bring this over, you can see you can install language package and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to install anything right now because I have to do a few more things and I don't want to uh, clog up my internet on some stuff I don't need right now. So that is pretty much how you install Linux Mint. So if you, you know, enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, you know, don't forget to share. It's, it's sharing is caring. So share with your friends and family, whoever would like to learn how to install Linux Mint. And like always, thank you so much for the support and love and uh, stay tuned. 
more videos coming and check out my buddy James. I thank you so much.